Okay, hi guys. Uh, um, there was a bit, uh, some, some confusion on there's lots of ways to do hand wraps. So here's another version um, of the way I do it. I think it's a really good way because it gives you a bar in the middle here to actually hold on to. So when I get any new wraps, um, I take the thumb bit off uh, and I take the Velcro off. Okay. So I'm going to run through this really, really quickly. If you're not at all sure, like post with me, this is going on the closed group. So post to me and go, okay, how do I get this? And I, you know, I can go over it again if you want. Okay, cool. Right. So, okay. So we're going to look from thumb to, so we do one, two, maybe three there. Okay. So we take that off. That's about the, the width of the knuckles. Take it down on a flat surface, fold it in half and then now we take the little loopy end that we had and we start the process. Okay, so now we're here. So you've got padding over your knuckles. So we'll go around here. The more you do this, the more you will find a way that absolutely suits you. 27 bones in the hand, or 26 depending who you talk to. All right, so we're trying to support all that. The wrist especially is important. We bring this round here. So if you look at the process and try and get the principle of it, you can adapt it to suit. If you've got weak wrists, you might put more around your wrists. If you've got weak knuckles, you might put more there. Okay, so now look, we're going from the thumb, base of the thumb, we're looking across, crisscross on the back. Good. Possibly you might go around the wrist again. You might go around here again. Yeah. All depending on what you feel you need. I usually go up to about here, further up. Okay, next one we come through. Fingers are wide, always wide. Yeah, so that you're not pulling it too tight. If they're not wide, and by the time you close your fist, it'll be too tight. Okay. Back round. Okay. Back on this one. This one we don't go here because it'll slip off. We go around the other way. Okay, so we might come around the wrist again. Back round here, and then we're back here. Right, this part, the middle part, I come through. And then I pull wrap this round until it's complete, nice and tight. Here we go, easy peasy, right? So now what I've got is, this is well supported here. I've gone crisscross here. I've, killed, I've bound this in so you don't get injuries around about this part of the joint. Yeah, this is wrapped up. Like I say, I normally go up to about here, you know, so it's really pulling the radius and the ulna together, yeah. Um, so this is well protected. This is well padded, look, you can see. Yeah, and this bit, instead of having a big band here where my fingers go like this, now I've got a little bar to wrap around this space. So have a little play with it. My recommendation, you know, watch TV, put them on, take them off, put them on, take them off, yeah? But I found this to be the best. It comes from Master Toddy and a guy called Samming Num, yeah, Thai champion. Good enough for them, might be good enough for us. Okay, that's it, guys. Cheers.